Okay guys, so we just looked at using the standard surface tracker, the power window with the basic tracking to select an area and to increase the exposure. And guys, that's the fastest way of doing things. And that's how I mostly work when I'm editing a wedding. Let's have a look now, I'm gonna add a circle. So let's just select this couple. Do a very rough job and then hit track and then hit forward, tra track forward and backwards, which is this button. And now guys, we can add just a little bit of exposure here. And we may want to increase the softness of that. So guys, we've made a very quick enhancement of exposure in the middle, but we can see that has affected the background a bit. We're seeing some brightness in the leaves here, which maybe we don't want to see. And if we want to get rid of that, what we can do is use the magic mask. So let's reset that. Let's reset all this tracking, get rid of it all. And now let's head to the magic mask here. Okay guys, so let me explain the magic mask to you. It's a fairly complicated tool to master and I didn't use it for a very long time because I was just getting it wrong. And I wanna to explain to you uh, now how to do it properly. So when it first comes to using the magic mask, we wanna get a frame in the video which is gonna be the best representation of what we want to select. So if we're here, it might be a bit difficult to see the area in between the couple. So if we come to like around here, now we can see the area in between and we can see a clear view of the couple. So let's put this plus pipette here and then start drawing around. Okay, and now we can see the mask is on showing us where we've selected. And guys, if you don't see the mask, hit this button here, which is showing you the mask. And guys, we're currently in the object selection, which most people seem to be recommending to use even with people anyway. So let's keep working with that. So let's now select this gentleman over here. So he's all covered in red which means he's selected. I'm gonna now click this better, which should clean up a little bit the selection. And look, it's immediately taken away of any errors, which is great. I also wanna use the negative pipette now. So take this negative one and then we can draw a line in between and it's gonna tell the mask not to select anything between. And I can also select the grass around, maybe a little bit around here. And this is just gonna help when we do the forward and backward magic to make sure it doesn't select anything it doesn't that we don't want selected. All right, so it seems to be a fairly good selection now. And now we're gonna hit track forward and backwards, which is this button here. You can also just select track backwards or just select track forwards, by the way, guys. But we're gonna use track forwards and backwards. Okay, let's watch that. And it's done a pretty good job, guys. This is a particularly difficult one to track because guys, look, they at some point she's completely t turned her back. And so the mask is struggling a little bit. So here I might need to try and add her back. Let's go frame forward. I need to track backwards now. 
Okay, let's try that. That seems to have worked well. I feel like his face was unmasked briefly at some point. In this frame. Let's zoom in a bit. So I need to add a mark to his face. And now I need to track forwards again. Okay. So let's go over to the curves now and then add some exposure. And guys, that's worked quite nicely. I did still see a little flash on her back. So guys, let's try that again because the mask kept missing her back. I'm gonna try this time just starting by selecting her back. So let's press Alt S. Now I'm going to select the magic mask and this time I'm going to start on a clip that does show her back as well and also need to be on the positive dripper. Here we go. Let's go get her here. Let's go for better. Here we go. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay. So it's got a good match here. And guys, when it says black and white, white is anything that's selected. So if we put, if we enhance clean black, it's gonna just make the edges a bit more defined, although they're already very good. And clean white can clean the edges that are selected. So we seem to have quite a good match now, and now that it's got her back, hopefully if we play forward, it will get her whole body. Let's try, so I'm gonna go forward. And that seems to have worked well. It seems to be one frame where his face has just fallen out of the mask here. So I'm gonna try adding another little bit here. And now I'm going to have to track forward again. And that all seems legit now. So let me just switch to the exposure tool. Now I can lift up the exposure and it should affect them and not affect the background. There we go. That's working nicely now. Uh, and the exposure. Yeah, it looks really nice with that exposure, actually. It's a little bit on the strong side, but it's nice. Let's try another clip. This is a much simpler clip. Let's go with the magic mask. I'm gonna select this gentleman, this lady, and then track forward. So look, it worked very well here. Let's try the magic mask in a few more simple situations. So let's try and select this building, for instance. Let's hit the tracker here. So we've got the mask and we can draw on this building. And look guys, you can just click and drag your mask around. That's done a fairly good job. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. You see we've got the trees, so you can hold Alt and unselect. Or you can also hit the negative button. Oh, so this is off. Yeah, that's better. And let's have the positive one. Let's hit better to begin with, that's going to help. And then radius, fine range, let's refine it. Blur radius is going to soften up a little bit for us. Here we go. And I seem to have lost these little bits. Let me set that. And then 
uh, take out this bit in the trees. Got rid of the trees here a bit. Okay, so let's go back to fit and then let's track forwards. And then we can apply a little bit of exposure if we want or any sort of edit we want guys we could you know put some red into it change the color i wouldn't do that i mean it was looking pretty good to begin with to be honest i'm just sort of testing out the tracker here guys so yeah in more simple situations it does a pretty good job let's check here um Let's have a go on this image. Let's um, get a node going on. And have a little track. Oh, where's the magic mask? Here we go. Let's select the bride here. And let's select this gentleman here. Okay, and then let's go forwards. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of blur. There's a little bit missed on her dress here, but I'm not too worried about that. Let's go and we can just expose them a little bit if we want. Again, they were already quite bright, so I don't, if I did that, maybe I would drop the exposure off the background a little bit. And then on the mask, I can just pop them out a bit. So let's go back to where we were with this clip and let's take out the body highlights we did before. Well, let's just wipe uh, those effects out. And utilize a magic mask. Make sure the highlight area is on so we can see what's going on. And we're going to select the bride. I'm going to select this gentleman here and their hands and the skin. And then we're going to go track forward. And you can see that's done a great job already. Let's hit expose the curves and now we can just bring them up a little bit. Okay. And guys, I feel I did put too much red in this image, so I'm going to just pull out a little bit of the red from the gain. Okay, guys, so that's the magic mask. I'm actually a little bit surprised how good it is. I remember trying to use it before and it being a lot more blotchy. Um, but I guess they've improved it with these latest versions. So yeah, highly recommend checking it out. 